the local vineyard. I'm helping out today, so I just need a few jobs done ready for the season. So I thought, why not? I spend all day inside now, pretty much. So it's a lovely opportunity. And you can see that's my work behind me. I've been making sure that we keep the live ones in to be transplanted later on into the field. And I'm just basically picking up all of the sticks now that I haven't got any vines with them. And yeah, it's literally just me and the fezzies. They've been very intrigued in what I'm doing. They've made a little squawk at me. There's two cocks in the hen actually running around. And they're gorgeous. I just love being around with them. But they're just enjoying their little lives before October. Uh, that's my Sunday, Saturday, sorry, I don't know what day of the week it is. So I'm in Southwold again for the third, second bank holiday time uh, this month. Different fish and chip shop this time because they do gluten free and it's such a rarity at the seaside. I always jump in every chance I can. Olive is having their little water. Oh, they've had stuff really Olive's lived her best life this bank holiday weekend because she's had a pool day, now she's having a beach day. Spoilt pup. It's cold and miserable in Norfolk today. I have genuinely contemplated putting the heating on this morning. Even though it's only 13 degrees, it's like 5 degrees out there. But I have no plans, which is good because I have quite a big art project on my hands that I've almost finished. So I, very, I was very eager to enter this. Um, the Norfolk Young Farmers Rally, one of the categories is cartridge art, and I love, I love a good cartridge, accessory, spent shells, things like that. So I thought I'm going to give this a go because I wanted to enter like one of, one of the categories because it's my first time ever being in a Young Farmers Rally. It's this Sunday, I don't really know what to expect. So yeah, I will show you what I've been up to. I've got my uh, very unhelpful helper here. Oh, don't eat that. Uh, this is what I've done so far. As you can see, it's pheasant. Um, when I was moving this picture, one of the cartridges fell off, so I need to add that one back in. Um, really, he's just missing his eye now, so I managed to separate the top from the plastic bit of the cartridge. And very bizarre way. So the first one was to hold it over the hob, they didn't really work so then they said on the internet to put it that kind of this way up on the iron and then when the plastic goes a bit soft then you can take it off that worked really well um yeah so that's that so yeah i'm just going to get the glue gun fill in a bit more of the red here and then it should be done um i honestly have no idea how i'm going to get this to the showground on Sunday. I might have to take the super glue with me in case someone falls off in transit. But yeah, originally I was just going to use the shells as the tail, but then I've got some pheasant feathers in the house and I thought, why not? Let's add a bit of pizzazz. I mean, fingers crossed I'll win, but we'll see, we'll see. Right, so that is me done. <laughs> I've made his little face. There are some like annoying empty spaces, but to be fair, even if I cut up some cartridges like I have done, I don't think I'd be able to fill them. But I just need to get rid of like my um, guidelines. Get rid of those. But yeah, that, that's done. That is my entry for the cartridge art. I'm back from my... Um, country girl shooting day so let's let's talk about it that's all i can say oh what is that on my face <laughs> yeah so it was my first country girls day obviously i've done the aerosol lodge ladies day before so it's kind of like a similar setup um with a few added extras from last time so it was my first time using my new gun today and so i think i've definitely picked a good time to use it because I got to do a lot more shooting than I, I usually would if it was a normal weekday trip. Um, yeah, so my gun is actually feeling a lot looser than it was. Although I did have to like get my leg up a bit and use the little power of my leg to shut shut the gun. So hopefully that'll get better. I'm so weak. I have literally Googled today 
like arm exercises for shooting like are there weight is there weight lifting i need to do yoga strengthening i need to do it because i can't be weak forever it's like i'm all right lifting it but after a couple of goes up and down I'm like, oh i can't do it anyway um yeah so we did we went around like a lot of the stands in two separate groups so it was kind of like group a being the ones that maybe haven't shot before or they've done it once and then i was in group b for the more like experienced but with com like lack confidence group which was nice um i had a different coach to usual it's always good as well because i think you can get a different perspective on things it's like it's like anything really like at school different teachers had better methods of teaching you or they had elements that you prefer from some and others so that was really good and um at the end we did something i've never done before which was a flush and i was literally dreading it i i even googled like close shooting flush before i went i was like i don't know what i'm doing at all and the first practice run i was like uh, uh it, what 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 <laughs> and um by the second one i think i kind of got it and i was just sticking to the clays that i knew i could hit um, rather than chancing it. Obviously, that's not real life. If I was to go out and game shoot, a pheasant's not going to come at me the same time every time. Same way every time, sorry. But yeah, I really liked it. Was a bit naughty, didn't mount my gun properly, so I've got a nice little bruise under my armpit. So I was a bit too excited about just hitting all these targets flying at me. Yeah, I had a really good day. It was nice to meet like a completely different group of girls because uh apart from what but the L's day is um like a, a group of girls that usually go whereas this time it's like people i've never met before i think i maybe followed a few on instagram because it's a small world but yeah the, it was it was lovely and i'd definitely go to another one i think i'd like to maybe try a simulated game day next but I think the next one like round here is the 8th of July, which is like a bit too soon to another day I'm doing. So I, I don't really want to uh, overdo it. <laughs> My bank account won't like me anyway, but maybe I can, maybe they'll put some more on later in the year. I don't know. Maybe I just go for it and try game day and polish myself up in between seasons. Tomorrow is the Young Farmers Rally. I have no idea what to expect really with that. I went to help set up. I, I say help very loosely because they'd almost done it all by the time I got there after work and I gingerly tried to cut some rope with a pen knife without trying to slice my hand open. Uh, yeah, not, not entirely sure what to expect because I've never done it. I obviously have entered the cartridge art competition so fingers crossed things go okay with that. I'll try and get some videos of it. I, obviously, I didn't really get many videos of today's shooting day because it's always a bit hard to do it, obviously, for yourself. Then I'm like, oh, do I just like film the others shooting to your taste? I don't know, but we'll see. By the time I'm film, filming this, I haven't actually even looked at all the footage from today. So we'll see. We'll see what I can put up anyway. But um, the rally, I'll try and get some clips as well. So you know what's going on um i was chatting with the girls today and they said that my young farmers like county in particular are mental bonkers which was like yeah i've only had a taste of it at one social and i was like yeah okay my liver needs training for these events <laughs> we'll, we'll see so we're just having a look at the exhibits to see who's won what i don't think my one's been marked yet but we'll see we'll see it's got some cakes I hope you understand. When this turned up, I knew I was going to lose. <laughs> Look at that thing. I've got some lemon and prosecco sorbet. Oh, no, you're not having it, Olive. I saw an ice cream van. I was like, oh, it's just going to be ice cream. But then I looked, I was like, oh my gosh, lemon and prosecco. Lovely, it's really warm today. <laughs> so, very happy to have this treat. I'm back at work after a busy weekend. And 
just editing this video so it can go up on Wednesday. It's been a bit of a delay in me not really doing videos because of some kind of personal circumstances, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and see what I'm up to next time.